This is a foraging sea otter surfacing after a dive to the bottom in search of prey. In just a few feet of water in this harbor, she has found a small crab to eat. Foraging for food may comprise as much as half of a sea otter's daily activity. To fuel their furnace of a metabolism, they must consume about one quarter of their body weight every day. The scarcer the prey, the more time it takes them to fill their stomachs. Their appetites regulate distribution and behavior of prey and shape ecosystems. Sea otters feed on a wide variety of benthic invertebrates, animals without backbones that live on the sea floor. Look how diverse this group of animals is. Sometimes they must reach deep down in crevices with their sensitive paws to find crabs. Then once they have them, they must avoid getting pinched by those big claws. They must navigate the sharp spines of sea urchins. They must break open the hard shells of snails using a rock as an anvil. With some prey, just figuring out what parts are edible is the biggest challenge. Sea otter moms will share as much as one-third of their prey with their pups. Sea otters are pretty messy eaters, and opportunistic gulls will often follow along picking up bits and pieces they drop, and maybe even stealing a piece. The dense fur of sea otters traps an air layer. Here you can see the tiny bubbles being pushed out of the fur as our forager dives. Keep watching those bubbles she is. She didn't get anything this time. Sometimes sea otters may make multiple dives to retrieve one prey item they've discovered. Pretty soon she's going to go back down to the same spot again and have another try. There she goes. Keep watching her bubbles and sand plumes willowing up as she digs. If she lifts a rock and releases a trapped air bubble, then you'll see bigger bubbles those sand plumes and those bubbles, and you can see her dark shape below the surface as she moves about looking for food. What do you think she'll find? There she is. What does she have? She has a clam. With a quick twist between her paws, a maneuver known as bottle capping, she has it open and is eating a meal. This process of diving, searching, retrieving, processing, and eating is repeated hundreds of times every day. Did you know that sea otters may forage both day and night? Well done. some of the behaviors we've learned about in Sea Otter 101 and how they're related, foraging to feed a hot furnace of a metabolism, grooming to take care of that insulating fur coat, hauling out to warm up faster and stay warm longer. All of these behaviors are related to the fundamental challenge for sea otters, maintaining a warm body in a cold ocean environment. By observing sea otters from a distance, you're helping safeguard these vital behaviors so important for their day-to-day -day survival. Now you've learned a bit about sea otter foraging, stay tuned for Foraging Part 2, where I'll share sea otter savvy tips specifically for those who encounter foraging sea otters. Remember to be, share, and model Sea Otter Savvy. Learn more at seaottersavvy.org.